Hello friends, it's Mr. Joseph here again. Welcome to week seven of Music Club. I am very excited that we get to grow in our musical knowledge together every single week. Now let's get ready to have some fun today through music. We are going to play a game as usual. We're gonna warm up our bodies and our voices and we are going to sing some songs together today. Let's start off our day with a sensible shakedown to get nice and loose and ready for our class. Oh, great. Now I want to see everyone twist from side to side oh. and stretch up, 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 stretch up. Oh, and now we're going to bend all the way down to the floor. Mm. We're going to sway back to the side and to the side, all the way back up until we're standing perfectly straight. Oh, good job. Last week, we played a game called Superhero Pose. Today, we are going to use our imaginations and our breathing techniques to transform ourselves into our favorite animals. Remember, our first position in this game is going to be our recharging station. This is where we cover our eyes with our hands and we stand very still as we charge up our bodies with our breath in order to become whatever the new animal is. We're, gonna, we're going to do one, two, three, maybe even four breaths together. And when we open our eyes, I want to see your animal pose. For an added challenge, when we do our poses, let's make the sounds that the animals would make too. Okay, the first one is a dog. So we're going to put our hands over our eyes and we're going to do three deep breaths in through our nose, out through our mouth, in through our nose, out through our mouth, and last one, in through our nose, and out through our mouth. And when we open our eyes, we're going to be a dog. Okay, our next one is a cat. Mm, I have two little kitties. Their name are Tom and Tiny. They're my favorite. Okay, so let's do our cat pose. Let's get back to our recharging stations, hands over our eyes. We're gonna do two deep breaths in through our nose and out through our mouth. And one more in through our nose and out through our mouth. And when we open our eyes, we're going to be a cat. Okay, our next one is an alligator. So I wanna see everyone get ready, get back into your recharging stations, hands over our eyes. We're gonna breathe in through our nose. Three breaths out through our mouth. In through our nose, out through our mouth. And last breath in through our nose and out through our mouth. And when we open our eyes, let's see your alligator pose. Let's do an elephant pose. Who's ready for that? So we need to get back into our recharging stations. I think elephants need four big breaths, okay? So we're gonna do four deep breaths in through our nose, out through our mouth, in through our nose, out through our mouth, in through our nose, out through our mouth, and last one, in through our nose and out through our mouth. And when we open our eyes, we'll do our elephant pose. Okay, do we have three more poses in us? I think the first one we should do is a monkey pose, okay? So we're gonna do two deep breaths for our monkey pose. Hands over our eyes for our recharging stations. In through our nose and out through our mouth. In through our nose, 
And out through our mouth. And when we open our eyes, let's do our monkey pose. Okay, our next one is an ant. Ooh, ants are really small. What do ants look like? What on earth could an ant pose look like? Hmm, let's think about that. Well, let's get into our recharging station. We're only gonna do one deep breath for an ant. We're gonna do in through our nose and out through our mouth. And we're ant pose. Finally, our last one. Here we go. Let's stretch it out. Oh, we're gonna do our dinosaur pose, okay? Any dinosaur you like. I'm going to think about, hmm, maybe a T-Rex? I don't know. We're gonna do three deep breaths for our dinosaur pose. Hands over our eyes for our recharging stations. In through our nose. Out through our mouth. In through our nose. Out through our mouth. And last one, in through our nose. Out through our mouth. And show me your dinosaur pose. Let's move on to our vocal warm up. Now that we are physically and mentally warmed up, let's get our voices ready to sing. The first thing we're going to do is a vocal yawn. Let's do two of those together. Mmm, I love these. They're so fun. Okay, one more. Okay, facial massage time. Everyone show me your palms. We're going to massage our face. This is one of my favorite things that we do because our faces deserve being taken care of. They need a nice massage. Okay, so good. Ah, oh, massage that face. Take care of it. Treat it well. Oh yeah. Okay. Now we're going to revisit our vowels. Does anyone remember all of them? There are five vowels. They are a, a, e, o, and u. We are going to say all of those vowels on the same note, okay? So it's gonna sound like this. A, A, E, O, U. Can we all try doing that together? Three, two, one. A, A, E, O, U. Let's do that again. A, A, E, O, U. And one more time. A, A, E, O, U. So good. Next thing we're going to do is our vocal siren. So everyone get your finger out down here. We're gonna start at the bottom of our voices, work all the way to the top, and then go all the way back down. Okay, here we go. Now, for an added challenge, you can always try and beat Mr. Joseph and see who can go longer. So let's see if you can beat Mr. Joseph's length. Here we go. Three, two, one. Uh... How'd you do? Let's try that one more time. And fingers out, down here, three, two, one. Uh... I love those, so fun. So sticking to our animal theme, we are going to use our animal sounds to do our warm ups. But before we do that, I need to grab my guitar. What sound does a sheep make? Bah, right? So we're gonna do our, our vocal scales up and down on the sound ba. Here we go, it's gonna sound like this. 
Here we go. And And What sound does a bee make? Hmm? They make the sound buzz, buzz. Let's try that sound for this next little scale. Buzz, 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 buzz. And buzz, 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 buzz. And buzz, 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 buzz. That one's a little tricky. Let's try mouse. What does a mouse sound like? Squeak and squeak, 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 and squeak, 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 squeak. Oh my goodness, that's a little hard. Squeak, 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 and squeak, 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 squeak. Okay, I know all of us know what pigeons look like. We know what pigeons sound like. I think they sound kind of like coo or coo. <laughs> Let's try some pigeon sounds. It's gonna sound like this: coo 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 coo. And coo 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 coo. And coo 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 coo. Two more and coo 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 coo. Last one. Today we are going to talk about rhythm again. Last week we worked really hard on quarter notes and our eighth note rhythms. This week we're going to add another one into the mix. You may remember it's the famous half note. Yes, that's what a half note looks like. When we clap this half note, it sounds just like this. T-O. T-O. Let's try clapping eight of those together. And T-O. 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 Oh, ta, oh. That was eight, good job. Now we can revisit the quarter note and eighth note sounds from the last couple of weeks. Let's clap eight quarter notes together. What sound does a quarter note make? Ta, right? Let's clap eight ta quarter notes together. Ta, 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 ta. Ta, 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 ta. So good. Now, finally, the fastest note so far is an eighth note. Let's clap eight eighth notes together, making the sound what? T, T, T. And here we go. Let's do eight of those together. T, 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 T. Now we have clapped all of those rhythms eight times separately. Can we combine them? Hmm. Let's clap eight half notes, then eight quarter notes, then eight eighth notes. I really want you to try and notice the difference in how they sound. Here we go. Starting with our half notes. Ta, o, oh. ta. Oh, ta, 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 
How did that go? Now that we have mastered all of those sounds together, who thinks that we can jumble up the order a little bit? Let's try clapping through this together. So good, clapping all those fancy rhythms. I'm so proud of you. We deserve a fun sing-along break, don't you think? We're going to sing the wheels on the bus. But because I can't move my arms to do the motions while I sing and play a guitar, can you do the movements for me? The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. On the bus, go round and round all through the town. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish all through the town. The money on the bus, the money on the bus goes clink, 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 clink. view today, we clapped through some new complicated rhythms, including eighth notes, quarter notes, and half notes. 
I'm going to clap one of those three notes and I want you to tell me which one it is. Let's try. Ta, ta, ta. Which one of the three was it? That's right, those were quarter notes. Here we go for the next one. T, 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 T. That's right, eighth notes. And finally, ta, oh, ta, oh. That is right, those were half notes. I would love for us to spend a couple of minutes just thinking about how today's class went. What were you most successful at in class today? What are the differences between eighth notes and half notes? Can you think of any ways that they're different? Finally, how can we best prepare for next week's class? That is right, we can try clapping our quarter notes while saying ta, our eighth notes while saying T, and now our half notes while saying ta, o. That will set us up perfectly for next week. Now finally, what is one thing that you are looking forward to today? Hmm? Our days look a little bit different than they used to. We're not going to school, seeing our friends as much. There's a lot of stuff going on in the world and it can be a lot for us to absorb. But if we try hard enough every single day, I'm sure that there is something that we can look forward to and enjoy. Thank you for spending time with me today. I will see you next week. Bye-bye.